What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter from Panda here. I have my Amazon Echo Dot, but they just released a new one. So let's check this out. As you might be able to see here, the telltale sign of what makes this one different is right on the front. And as you can see here, versus my existing Echo Dot, this one has a camera built into the front. So let's just check this sucker out. It comes in a box here. Just pull away this plastic then open it up. And so I don't really expect this to be a whole lot different than my current one, but what you had to do on your previous uh, Echo, because I use this as an alarm clock and a nightstand, play music, white noise, whatever. If I wanted this time, I'd have to be like, Alexa, what time is it? And then it would be like, blim, blim. it is 10.35 PM. But on this one, you should be able to see it right there on the front. So let's just look at what we get here. We get an instruction booklet, and this is pretty easy to set up in the Amazon Alexa app. I will show you that we get a big power brick right here, two prong with a single prong uh, plug on this. So it's not USB-C and it's not micro USB. You might be able to see it right there. But I will tell you that based on the original plug, this one looks very similar. It says 15 watts on both of them. So I really don't think there's any difference on these except this one's black and this one's white. So we're gonna take that. And now I've got the Echo Dot right here and you can see I got this one on white. It's got a white fabric on the side, wrapped in plastic. So I'm gonna take all of this off here as quickly as I can. Kind of pull it up from the bottom. Now we'll slide out here. And you can see we have kind of a large hockey puck looking thing. Uh, white plastic on the front. We have all the buttons that you might expect. We have four holes here where I think that is going to be your microphone pickups. We have plus minus for adjusting volume, a mute button there for turning off the microphone, and then a mode, you know, play pause button. Again, white fabric on the sides, and then we have the power plug right there. And then also, I think this is a three and a half millimeter jack, I think for an auxiliary uh, speaker. And then we have a very rubberized, you can might be able to see that, but it's all gray. This whole thing is a, a really uh, grippy rubber, so you won't have to worry about it sliding around. Now, if I take a look at my original Echo Dot here, I would say that I can't tell that there's any difference physically. Um, even the size, they're all the same, so I think footprint-wise, this is not gonna take up any more or less space. So this is really nice, especially if you don't need that clock on the front. So let's get this thing plugged in and set up. All right, so let's give this thing power here. And I think what's gonna happen is we will get a light ring as it's powering up. And then I think it will go orange when it's ready to set up. So once it starts glowing orange, you can go ahead and open your Alexa app and get this little bad boy set up. Now, I'm not gonna walk you through that because it's pretty straightforward. You just go to devices in the app, hit the plus sign, and then it'll walk you through setting it up. And so I'm just gonna go get this thing set up and then we'll take a look at what it looks like after I do that. Got this sucker set up and it's easier to set up than ever before. As you can see, it's already uh, showing the time just via the sync of a phone. And it doesn't ask me other than selecting the Wi-Fi network to enter the password. This used to usually put out like a Wi-Fi network and you connect to it, create the settings, set everything up and then disconnect from it and then it would show up. So it's really easy to set up right in the app very quickly. Now I will show you that the display here shows the time right there, 8.45 p.m. and it's very bright. Um, I'm not sure how well it comes across because I've got a super well lit room here, but it's actually really, really bright. One of the cool things that I want to show you here is that this display uh, is adjustable in the app, but it also comes default with a setting to adjust to ambient lighting automatically. So if I just cover it up here, look at that, it starts to disappear. So the nice thing is if you do use it as an alarm clock, you don't have to worry about it shining too brightly in your face. That's pretty clever. And it's easy to read. It might be a little blurred out here, but uh, it's very sharp on my end there. So it's kind of nice when you're sleeping to get a little peek about the time instead of saying, Alexa, what time is it? The time is 8.46 p.m. Ah, now I can do all those normal things. Alexa, what's my alarm set for? Your alarm is not set. It's not Alexa, it's not. Alexa, set my alarm every weekday for 6.20 a.m. Alarm set for every weekday at 6.20 a.m. Super nice to have and 
really convenient. Good sound quality out of this as opposed to the original plastic dot. I think that's much improved, but man, having that clock there like an alarm clock. And I think that either shows that the alarm is set. Alexa, play country music. Here's a station you might like. Top country on Amazon Music. Alexa, stop. All right, so, you know, you can do all that. You can change the volume here like you might expect. And so uh, this is just a great device. It's the perfect uh, nightstand companion now. It's the perfect alarm clock because of this little clock edition. I wish they had it on this. These make great desk accessories. If you don't need the clock, they have put out good sound and uh, good sound replication so you can listen to music, white noise, whatever. But I'm really excited to have this. Uh, and it seems to be the same price as these were. So I don't think you're paying any more. They've just added that. So pretty cool. If you want to pick this up, I'll put a link to it in the description. Peter Rompanda out.